There are three lockpicking skills you can learn in Thief Simulator VR and all of which will make it a lot easier for you to steal more stuff. So let's take a look. The first one is the basic lockpick and if you're picking these at night then make sure you turn your head torch on. So as you go to grab the handle it will indicate which lock it is that you need to pick. So grab the screwdriver in your left hand so, but all you're doing is holding the grip button. Don't touch the trigger for now. And then grab the pick in your right hand with the grip button. And then all you're going to do is push the grip in really slowly until it drops. See it drops then, so as soon as it drops then you touch the trigger with your left hand on the screwdriver. And then it moves it a little bit. And then you don't need to touch the trigger on your right hand, you still just keep hold of the grip button and then we're going to move it really slowly round, anti-clockwise, until it drops again. And you can hear it click into place. All right, sometimes when it freaks out like that, if you move your hands a bit closer to your body, and it makes it easier and your, your movements can be more precise. So we'll do that again. So as soon as it drops down, then you press the trigger on the screwdriver hand and then rotate it and then the lock is picked. So this is the next lock that we're going to pick. So grab it with your hand and then straight away the lock appears in front of you so you know what type of lock it is. Turn your head torch on, grab the left tool with your left hand and you only need to press the grip trigger for now and then you can, this, this one slides in and out and you're going to land it over each individual spring and then with our right hand we use the grip trigger again. So in both hands we're not touching the trigger, the front trigger, we're only touching the grip on the side. So with your left hand start on the first spring and press the trigger and you'll see it bounces down. And I want to click the left trigger to make the spring bounce down to the grey. And as soon as it bounces below then we press with our right hand the right trigger. So it didn't bounce down then. And then you can hear it click. And then move it along. So then press the left trigger and then the right trigger as soon as it bounces into that grey section. And then move your left hand in, press the trigger to make it bounce down. And then what, as soon as it hits the grey section then we press the right trigger. Two more to go. So press the left trigger as soon as it bounces into the grey, we press the right trigger. One more, press the left trigger, and then as soon as it goes into the grey, we press the right trigger, and then it's open. So the last lock pick we're going to use is the easiest to use, and that's the electronic pick. Can't remember if it's this one or not. Yeah, it is. So with this one, you simply grab it with your left hand, press the trigger, and when it's starts to vibrate then you let go. Bang, done. Once you've broken into houses you still need to avoid getting caught so you'll want to watch this video next. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.